Hello, today in Entre Tramites, you will learn how to file Form or Modelo 720. This form is an informative declaration, which means that a presentation does not imply the payment of a tax, and it only serves to communicate to the tax agency that you have right goods or assets located abroad. Also, you can file it through the official website of the Agencia Tributaria between January 1st and March 31st. Who must file it? It must be filed by any individual or legal entity resident in Spain who are holders, representative, authorized persons, beneficiaries, persons, or entities with powers of disposition of bank accounts, assets, values, rights, or real estate located abroad. Also, if the asset or the sum of assets exceed 50,000 euros, or if you have filed this form before and the value of your assets increased by more than 20,000 euros, you will have the obligation to file it. So let's start with the procedure. As the first step, you must enter the page of the tax agency or Agencia Tributaria and click on Presentación de Declaraciones Calendario del Contribuyente. Then click on Todas las Declaraciones por Modelo and then on Presentar y Consultar Declaración. Scroll down a little until you find the option for the Modelo 720 and in this box, click on the title Modelo 720 Ejercicio 2021 Presentación. For this year, it will say Ejercicio 2021. If you are going to submit it by a file, you must click on the second option. If you are only going to consult and verify previous declarations, just click the third option. And lastly, if you are only going to provide complementary document documentation, you must click on the last option. To start filing it, you must go to the first one. Then click on Acceda con Certificado o DNI electrónico and here choose the certificate or DNI you wish to use then identify yourself with your NIF of declarant and after this you will have to fill in this field the name and surname or company name the telephone number and the name and surname of your representative after this you must go to page 2 bienes o derechos in which you must enter the goods or rights that you are going to declare on this opportunity to start you must click on the sheet icon with a green plus symbol and you will be able to create a new record then you must write the nif of the declarant the key or the condition of the declarant, like if they are the owner of the asset, the representative, the authorized person, the beneficiary, the usufructuary, the taker, someone with power of disposal or has other forms of ownership. In this case, we will indicate number one, which would be the owner of the asset, or titular. Then write the key of the type of asset or write, and among the options, there are accounts open in entities that are engaged in banking or credit traffic and are located abroad, values or rights representing, values or rights representing participation in any type of legal entity, shares and participations in collective investment institutions located abroad, life or disability insurance and temporary or life annuities whose insurance entities are located abroad, and finally, ownership and real rights over real estate located abroad. In my case, I'll choose the letter B. And then the sub key of the asset or right must be indicated as well. Among the options, we have number one, ownership of the real estate. Number two, real rights of use or enjoyment of real estate. Number three, fair ownership of real estate. Number four, timeshare part-time use with similar formulas of real estate. And the last one, number five, other real rights on real estate. For this case, I will choose number one. And then I'll write the code of the country where the real estate is located. After this, indicate the domicile or address of the real estate, the complementary data of the real estate, if it's necessary, the town or city, the province, region or state, the postal code, and again, the country code. Then indicate the date of incorporation and the origin of the property or right. Then write its valuation, which means the value of the asset on December 31st, the value of the asset on the date of extinction or its acquisition value. Then indicate the key of the type of property, if it's urban or rustic. And finally, the percentage of participation, which in this case is 100%. When you have finished filling in all the data, click on Validar. And if there are no errors, click on Firmar y Enviar. Indicate that you agree and again click on Firmar y Enviar. And that's it. For more information, remember to check our website and follow us on our social media platforms. 
you'll find the link in the description box below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve with expert guidance on streamlining your paperwork, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to our channel.